Hi, this is Gene Bosler. I'm in Florissant, Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis. Check out this pecan. I want to point out the, the differences, regional differences. This is a pecan, the exact same species of tree that we frequently find in Texas, okay? All over Texas. So this pecan is quite different. This is a beautiful tree. Look at that straight stem. Straight, straight stem. It's 35, 40 feet up before it splits off. It's a spreading tree. This baby's only about 35 years old. I'm going to point out some, some of the cool features of this tree. The bark is quite different from the pecans we're used to seeing in Texas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, the places I know kind of know the best. I don't even really know Austin that well. Bark is quite different. I don't know what kind of pecan this is, what fancy Native American name they, they assigned it. Here's what they look like. Um, where are they at? Where the heck are the pecans? Oh, there we go. Here's what they look like. Not very big, not very thick skinned. Here's a couple more. And uh, just an all around really cool tree. My father belayed me up in this tree when I was 12 with a bow saw to cut free a stone broken limb in a uh, double bowl. And Very cool tree. Very different uh, to me in, in, from the pecans that we're used to. Uh, this lean, uh, do you want to count for the, uh, the lean? Is uh, I believe phototropic response because there used to be a massive silver maple occupying this hole in the sky between these other maples and this pecan. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Info at wideworldoftrees.com.